हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पी सी सॉफ्टवेयर नेम इज नाइट ऑल प्रो फॉर पी सी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज नाइट ऑल प्रो फॉर पी सी वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट एंड दैट वी मूव और प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट्स means how you get the file and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start what is night owl pro for pc basically it is a cms which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on pc it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app by using this software you are able to access live view of the camera on your pc not only the live view but you can access it feature like you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz cam camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color saturation etc you take the backup of the recorded videos you control the quality of the video recording and many more now if we are talk discussing about this minimum system requirement then you should have at least windows 7 8 or 10 or even mac os like hi sierra and catalina and if we are discussing about its processor then you should have at least core i5 processor or equal equivalent processor in other companies like amd ryzen and if we are discussing about ram then we, you should have at least 4 gb of ram and at least 50 gb of free space on your hard drive why this is 50 gb because when you see the live view of the camera you may want to record it on your pc you may want to take a snapshot of the, that live video so for that you should have at least 50 gb of free space because moving pictures take little mbs okay now let move our video to particular part how you get for that you should open your browser in my case i am using chrome i just open chrome browser and search for night owl pro for pc when i do this i find up here my favorite one just open the website and here you should find download for windows and mac so i am using windows so i go for the download windows when i do this it will read to me a page where we have to wait for 10 second after that my file become ready to be download now just click on this okay now your file is ready to download and it is downloaded just click on show in folder and right click on the downloaded file and click extract when you do this you find a folder name same as the file name just open the folder here is your, our installer of application file installer file or dot exe file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and just click next again click next again click next you should click tick create desktop icon and again click install when you click install it will automatically install the software and finally you get the message like completing the night owl hdc ms wizard click finish to exit setup and when you tick launch night owl hdc ms then it will automatically open the software just click just click finish now let's click next let's click next or just click finish so basically this is the interface of the software the first thing you should do you should go to the group and device management okay and after that here you should find the add device add online device and here you find the group okay for example let us create the group called a okay and here you find the two device when your pc 
I know device. Both are on the same network, means both are connected to the same router. Then you should click add online devices. It will automatically search your device. Okay. And if you want to remote device or you want to connect other static IP, then you should click add device like this. Okay. So here when you click on online online devices here you find that two things like p2p and ip address like when you click on ip when you click on p2p id okay so when you click on p2p i here you should enter the p2p id but when you it, it will automatically detect here and you should select and it, it will automatically fill okay but if you if you click offline devices or a remote location devices and click add device when you click on that here you should enter device name like that okay test device you should put any name which you easily remember and here you should enter p2p id or ip address so i just enter my local ip address and here you should enter the media port please don't be confused media port username and password these three fields you can find when you log in your device and go to the network option over there you you should find your media port username password and channel username and password media port username and password you find when you log in your device and go to the network option so in my case this is my default port and here my username and here i enter my password and click save channel will automatically detect okay now just click and just click import okay now go to the control panel again and go to the main main view and here you find that just go to into single page single camera view and just double click on this a and your camera comes online like this thanks for watching Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.